Hey, it's Pamela. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of products from a site that you might have seen advertised online. It is like a cheaper AliExpress. Well, I don't know. There's been comparisons between AliExpress, Wish, etc. And I think this is the cheapest. And there are things that I bought that I had seen on Amazon at an inflated price, but that's what I'd expect of those sites. I would say Amazon is probably the most expensive though I do think some of these things cost what they did for a reason you know the saying you pay what you 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 get what you pay for well I think in the case of some of these products that is definitely it starting off with the worst of the bunch is this tiny little box of what I thought were hydrocolide patches. If you aren't familiar with hydrocolide patches, they are the best things to use when you have a stubborn pimple. When I have one that won't go away, I'll use one at bedtime and usually by the morning the bump is completely flat and all the stuff inside is inside the patch. It usually takes like two days max for it to go away. That's not the case with these things because these are just stickers and like hydrocolite acne patch it. They forgot a letter. So you do get the 144 amount in this. Hydrocolloid is thicker than this. These do nothing. I guess they're decent for hiding a pimple. If makeup won't go over it, you can just throw one of these on top of it. The other use for something like this would be if you are derma rolling or something like that and you have an infected pimple on your face, you can pop one of them on the pimple so it doesn't spread that bacteria over the rest of your face. Other than that, these don't work how they were promised to work. If you see these on Teamu, do not buy them. Did I say the name of the site? It's Teamu, guys. Next up on the topic of patches, we've all seen frownies. I got curious about frownies. I do have a line on my forehead that when I don't get Botox, I have really bad tension headaches. So I basically use Botox to get rid of them and I haven't gone for it in a little while. So I'm developing that little line. I guess I'm just super stressed out. So when I saw these, I was like, you know what? They're way cheaper than what frownies cost and I'm not sure how I feel about just sticking paper patches on my skin to like prevent myself from firm a brow or whatever. So I figured, what could I lose? You get quite a bit of them. The patches are perforated and you just separate them in the shape that you want for the area of your face. The way you adhere them to your skin is by spraying your face with rose water and then sticking them in the area while your skin is still damp. The adhesive on this isn't the greatest but for my face I wouldn't want something that like super glues to my skin. The places that I have used them is here in between the brow and I find if you place one here and there it prevents that urge to like really throw your brow past the tension of these and I've also placed them beside the eye and I found that it adhered stronger to the side of the eye but by the morning I just kind of peeled them off. They say to use water or whatever to lessen the adhesive. I kind of just take them off. <laughs> Next up I have three different items that might be considered a little boring so I'll just go over them really fast. These little insole things. I've worn them once so there's some debris from inside my shoes but I found that these did give a really good amount of cushion on the ball of the foot. Between the toes didn't really bug me. When I put my shoes on I could feel it a little bit but as I was walking I didn't feel it pulling at all. I didn't get any blisters on the ball of my foot when I wore them. Next up are these little things. Also worn them once. This one is in better shape than this one. This one got a little crinkled, but they stayed in place. I just placed them on my baby toes to prevent rubbing on the side. And they did their trick. I didn't even feel them. And yeah, they were like 80 cents. So I'm not sure how long they'll last, but at 80 cents, I'd say it's worth it to buy more of these. So yeah, I did really, really like these. I also got these bandages for the heels. They provide provide really good cushion and I love the shape but the issue is they don't stick even without lotion on there, the adhesive on these bandages just doesn't stick. So you have to put a band-aid over top of them. I'm going to leave this in the package because it is pretty messy. You can see that there's ink on the outside. This is a privacy stamp. So it's just random letters and it says privacy. So if you have any document with private information that you need to redact, you just roll this over and you don't have to like 
shred it in places or go in with a pen and stuff. It's really easy. Comes preloaded with ink. Next up is this thing. It is just like a really cheaply made lint brush. It's dual sided. This side is like a fabric so it brushes off like hair. Whereas this side is my favorite. When I pull that off, it always pulls this thing off. Cause yeah, again, it's like cheaply made. This is the more textured side. This really scrapes the fabric. It's good to remove peeling from fabric. It's super lightweight, so it's good to throw in a bag. Next up in the office supplies, I needed an extra product to get to the $20. So I'm like, you know what? They're cute, I'll get them. They're little cloud-shaped X-Acto knives. They're lightweight, they're super cute. It's random colors. I think you either get pink, white, or blue. They gave me pink and white. These puffs that I'm seeing all over TikTok, people are getting them at Amazon on but I got these on Timu for way cheaper. They're super soft, great for applying powder underneath the eyes, like it gets into the corner so it's better than a brush. It really contributes to giving that nice airbrush look in places where you do have more texture so it helps take the texture off my cheeks. Next up I got tape. This is nano tape. This is basically double-sided tape but what drew me to this were those videos where people make those balls or like those squares is full of glitter. It's made with this stuff. Do I know what I'm gonna use this tape for? Not yet. It is really sticky. Apparently you can rinse it off and reuse it and it's also really stretchy so you can make a little bubble with it if you want to. I don't know. I was I bought this out of curiosity. <laughs> the size they show in the picture is way thicker so I don't know what size that was of the four that they offered. It doesn't really explain it but this is the 3M and I feel like all of them will be just like a small roll of tape but this was super cheap. Next up, there's something that looks really familiar. A certain subscription box that didn't deliver one of their boxes might have been offering these and saying that they cost way more than they actually do. Well, hello, they're on Teemu. Look at this, same smiley face. <laughs> Anyway, these are a pack of silicone lids. They basically stretch over a bowl or whatever container you have food in. Good alternative to using plastic wrap. You get six lids in the pack. Next up is a little kitchen gadget. You reseal packets with this. This again is just super cheap. It has a magnet on it so you can stick it to your fridge. It has a little safety guard because there is no on and off switch. Once you put the batteries in it, the part that seals it, which heat seals, is always active. I recommend just removing the batteries. Just takes two AA batteries. Here goes nothing. We're gonna see if this guy works or if it burns through the plastic. It kind of works. I don't know if you can see that but it did burn through the plastic. But yeah, that did seal it back up. So for what it is, it does work even if it does put holes in the bag. There was a massive hole in it anyway when I opened the bag to get my candy. It works. It's cheap. What do I expect? Next up is a product that is currently in use. So I'm just going to demonstrate it on the book. It is a cute little bookmark. I wanted one like this because if I have one of the paper ones, I have the tendency to like mindlessly break them. So you you just clip this part onto the page that you're reading or you can clip this on the back of the book because this is hardcover the cover is a little too thick for the clip and just let this part hang over the front of the book or in the page and yeah you have a cute little way to mark your place in the book that you're reading it's probably the cutest bookmark that I've ever had on to the second last product in this bunch I just realized I didn't put the pillows behind me this time I was like why don't I have any back support it's because you didn't put the pillows. Um, you are, again, so prepared to shoot. Anyway, I don't know if it's being a Gemini or possible ADD that tells me that I can have all these hobbies and then it'll sit in the corner and I won't touch it for like months. But then when I do, it can become an obsession. Anyway, everyone was knitting and crocheting and I was seeing those little like knitting machines where they were just like cranking it around and it was knitting by itself. Well, I knew that there was a cheaper option in a knitting loom, which is what I bought. <laughs> so basically you can do several different styles of knits on this. You just have to know the different patterns 
patterns of how to loop it around the pegs. You can go on both sides of the pegs, but I've also seen people just using this side, which means you could probably loop it over and just double the size of the panel that you're knitting. It comes with two little plastic needles and this little guy that helps you move the yarn around. My curiosity often kills the cat, but in this case, I think I'm just going to discover a new hobby that I'm going to enjoy, or so I say I'm going to enjoy. And finally, on to what I consider the hero product. This is actually what brought me into wanting to sign up to Team You because they had this on for $6. If you can believe it, this thing is a washing machine. Obviously not for large loads, but it's good if you have a few things to wash or if you have delicates and you don't want to put them in the washing machine. One thing I really like is it has little suction cups on the bottom. Basically, you just push it open and these are the controls. Five minute washing, 10 minute washing, and two minute drain. What I recommend for the wash, put it on the 10 minute setting. When you're done with the soapy water, you open this and it'll drain the water. When all the soapy water is out, I'll put in clean water and put it on the five minute setting. This also has a blue light in it and they say that it disinfects. I don't know. Did it clean my clothes really well? It actually did. It worked really nice, but make sure the load is small enough. There is a drying function of this. On the little washer turbine, you would pop this on and put your clothing in here and it would spin it dry. But the issue is because there's no heat, it doesn't dry it, so it just takes out excess water. That cycle is only two minutes anyway, so it doesn't really take up much time. The issue is this gets stuck on the turbine. I thought I was gonna break this pulling it off. So I'm a little nervous to use that again, so I might not use the dry cycle. Other than that, this product is a win. I'm happy that I got it. And the other thing I wanted to say, this survived my three-year-old nephew taking it off a of bed and kind of slamming it to the floor. So I feel like it is good quality and it should be for the price that they charge for it regularly, which is like $60, I think. That's everything that I got from Timu. Would I recommend that you shop on there? Yes and no. I wouldn't trust the reviews on the site because a lot of people are just giving it five stars to put in the review, though I don't think that there's any rewards for reviewing a product. I feel like sites like that have the tendency to bury any bad reviews so you wouldn't see them anyway. In my opinion, the best way to decide if a product is good or not is to search it online and see what people on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok or whatever are saying about the products. Just make sure that the person is reputable because I can say that it really sucks being promised that a product is excellent and then getting it and it's fake hydrocolloid patches. Also another thing I have to say about Timu is you cannot win the games unless someone accepts an invitation. The only person I got to join was my twin sister. With her being my twin, I knew she wouldn't be bothered and that she'd be interested in checking it out. So yeah, I didn't want to bother enough people to be able to win any of those games. You also have to make purchases. If that's your thing, if you have a lot of friends that are into that stuff, maybe you'll win the game maybe you'll get your free products that kind of kills the fun but the products are so cheaply priced that it doesn't really matter if you get a discount or not anyway that's everything for now let me know what you think in the comment section below have you shopped at teamu have you gotten any duds did you find any gems i'd love to know that's everything for now thanks for watching